Whisper is a text-to-speech model developed by OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT. Why is this useful? Well, if you have an audio or video recording, you can turn the audio into text. Based on some experiments I did, I must say that I'm very impressed by the model's capabilities. The good news is that OpenAI has recently made the Whisper model available through their API. This means we can integrate this AI model into our own applications. In this tutorial, we will cover three important aspects about working with the Whisper API. We will begin by creating an API key which is needed to use the Whisper API. Next, we'll make a simple request against the OpenAI API and get a list of all available AI models. Last but not least, we will build a request against the Whisper API and transcribe an audio file. Throughout this tutorial, I will use Postman as it makes creating and debugging requests much easier. I highly recommend using Postman or a similar tool to build these requests before you actually start writing code. You will find in the video description useful links as well as a document with step-by-step -step instructions for everything I'm showing today in this tutorial. So if this sounds like what you're looking for, let's dig in. To use the Whisper API, you need an account with OpenAI, but you probably already have one if we are using ChatGPT. Go to platform.openai.com and log in or sign up for an account. Once you are logged in, you should see a page that is similar to this one. And all you have to do next to generate an API key is to click here on your profile menu, view API keys, and click on generate new secret key. Once that key has been generated, go ahead and copy it and let's jump into Postman. Inside Postman, what we'll do is to create a new collection. And let's call this collection OpenAI. I'm going to go next in the variables tab and save here the API key we have generated. So I'm going to name the variable API key. The initial value will be fix me because that's not being used by Postman. And in the current value, I will paste the API key. Don't forget to save this. Next, we'll be working with the OpenAI documentation. You will find the link in video description. And what you need to do is scroll down here where you see API reference. This is the part that we are actually interested in. The first thing that I want to do is I want to work with the models endpoint. This is just to get a simple request going where we're verifying if our API key is working properly. And we'll also need to ensure that the model that we're trying to use is actually available. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this address, jump back into Postman, open up a new tab, and paste this request. If you try it as it is right now, it will fail because it's missing the API key. So this is something that we need to provide. But first, let's go ahead and save this request and put it inside the OpenAI collection. So let's go ahead and save it. I'm going to name it Get Models. And I'm going to select the OpenAI collection and then click on Save. Next, I'm going to hover over the collection name until this ellipsis shows up. And I'm going to select Edit. And I'm going to go here to Auth. And here, by Auth, under Type, I'm going to select Bureau Token because this is how OpenAI expects us to provide this API key. I'm going to start typing here one brace and you're already going to get this suggestion with API key and this will be the value that we have saved previously. And then go ahead and save this, go back to the get models request and send this again. And what we'll get back is a list of all the models. So let's search for the Whisper model. And we'll see that the name of the Whisper model is Whisper-1. So this is what we need to use in our upcoming request. We can search again to see if there's anything else with Whisper. No, this is the only model that we have. We're going to jump back to the API documentation and figure out how to actually use this model. Essentially, from the list that we have here, we will need to select audio. And we're going to see here that learn how to turn audio into text. So this is essentially what we're looking for. This is the Whisper API. The Whisper API is available at this endpoint. I'm going to go ahead and copy it. And also please note that this is a post request. So in Postman, open up a new tab. First select post so that you don't forget it. Paste here this address. 
in this case, you will see that I have some new lines here, so I'm gonna have to remove them. Let's go ahead and save this inside the same request, OpenAI, and we can call this Whisper API. There are still a few things that we need to configure about this request. First of all, we need to go here inside the body, and we're gonna select form data. And there are a few keys and values that we need to provide. Going back to the API documentation, we'll see here in the request body, we need to provide a model and the file. Both of them are required. So I'm going to go ahead and copy model, go back here and paste it. And here from the list of models, I'm going to copy whisper-1. I'm using the copy-paste approach to make sure that I don't make any mistakes while typing something. The next thing that we need is actually the file that we want to transcribe. So obviously this is also mandatory. And this can be an MP3, MP4, so it can work with a lot of formats. There's one important thing you need to remember here. This file cannot be larger than 25 megabytes. In the video description, I provided you a very simple file that you can also use to try this out on your own. And this is also the file that I'll be using next. So inside Postman, I'm going to go ahead and create here file. And this is the part that's a bit tricky and not so intuitive in Postman. If you hover over this field, so you, don't, you have to deselect it. If you hover over it, you will see here text appearing. So if I go away from it, it will show up again. And instead of text, you need to select file. And then this additional button will appear here, which says select files. So I'm going to go ahead to the path where I have my MP3 file. I'm going to select it. And this will then be available in Postman. So let's go ahead and send this request and see what is happening. The response is very simple. And in an object with a text property will be the text that is actually being transcribed from the audio. And this only took a few seconds. And it really doesn't matter at this point from the test that I did, like how long the audio file is, all that matters is the size. So essentially, when you're trying to provide this, it probably makes sense to provide files that are relatively small, especially if the length of your audio is very, very long. So you have managed to follow along and this is working for you and you feel that this tutorial has provided valuable. I would really appreciate if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because that really helps me create more tutorials like this one. Now, before you go, let's talk for a minute about pricing. So the Whisper model has a cost of only 0.6 cents per minute. So essentially, if my math is correct, if you're trying to transcribe one hour of audio, that will only cost you 36 cents. And as I said in the beginning, the accuracy of this transcription is really amazing. In the past, I had a lot of issues transcribing anything that I created because I'm not a native English speaker. And sometimes I say some words incorrectly. But with a Whisper API, that turned out not to be a problem. So a lot of the things that I maybe didn't say so correctly, they have been correctly transcribed by Whisper. So from that perspective, I'm really impressed by this. All right, so this is all for this tutorial. I hope you managed to get this example to work. But if you have any questions or something did not work, please leave a comment in the video below. Looking forward to see you next time at another tutorial. For that, click on the subscribe button and see you there.